welcome to a Zatu info boxing. Today we're going to be looking at Mariposas and this is part of our Tabletop Gaming Live coverage. Uh, Mariposas is a recent hot game from Elizabeth Hargreave and with my, in, with my opinion, with or in my opinion, it is rightfully so. It's quite a special game that does something quite unique. So let's pop all the stuff back into the box and show you the components as we go. First we have these tubs which if you've had a Stonemire game before you're uh, used to them um, and these hold the flower tokens that you'll be picking up as you go around the board. Now I like having tubs more than I don't like having tubs but these tubs are a bit peculiar because they're deeper in the lid region than they are in the base region. So if there were any more tokens than that, you'd probably want to open them upside down. Now that's a little bit of a fussiness. Um, they also do have butterflies on, not flowers. But uh, <laughs> that's a little bit of fussiness. So you have one, two, three, four, five tokens holders and all the flower tokens go in there. Next you have the butterflies themselves. And I'll just grab some of these and the dice. Try and grab a fourer. These are great. These butterflies, you're gonna be moving around the board and they all come with different generations. So this is a generation three. Generation three can only give birth to a generation four. That's a generation two. The generation four butterflies are also double-sided and they are double butterflies on the back. So they are worth two uh, double the points. Then we have the dice, which is rolled when you go to certain stations on the board and you just get the result. It's not a massive swing of luck. It's just like an extra bonus that you might get. Uh, speaking of those stations, these are those stations which go on some cities. Nice quality cardboard. And essentially, if you go and they're this way around, you will flip it over and get what's on the back. Um, that is a card, which I'll talk about in a moment. Sometimes they are uh, bonuses to movement um, and that sort of thing, but usually they're this kind of set collection thing. Those set collection things are represented in two places. You have a separate sideboard, which I'm not sure is totally necessary, but it is nice. And on here, you just have cards of this type. So the cards are just um, here and they're on the back. They're just a pattern and they're like this. And if you collect a whole set, you get to have the uh, bonus at the end, which is going to be random each game. It's going to be one of these tiles here, which will give you an ongoing bonus, an instant bonus, some points at the end of the game or something and um, but also each one of these cards is worth a point and that can be quite a good way if you spread out over the map of um, regaining some points because you're too far spread out because to get these you're gonna have to go to those stations which are far across the map then we have the scoring cards which I will show you and this really drives the movement of the game so you can see here that in this for this scoring, you will score one point for every um, butterfly above Tokyo. Here, a Tokyo, Toronto. Here, if you um, breed with a, or mate with a, or lay eggs, whatever it is, with a level three, a generation three, you go straight to double level four. And this is the last season. They come in three different types, and you'll have one of those at each game. And the first one is revealed straight away, but the last two are revealed at certain points in the game. Here you can see you need to be uh, above Atlanta, at least two butterflies, and have no butterflies but below Atlanta. And that's four points. And points are really important in this game because they help you win. But getting points is uh, not that easy, actually. And also four points if you have a butterfly on each of these colours. So uh, those are your scoring cards. Next, we have the most, probably the most important cards in the game. These drive your actions. So I'll show you some of these. Um, there are some bonus ones you can earn, which can be used differently, but let me show you a couple of these. So here we have, uh, this would be three single moves. So you can move three butterflies once, you can move one butterfly once, then that same butterfly again, then that same butterfly again. Um, and there we have a one and a three. And again, you can spread these across your butterflies, but you must move the whole movement. So there's a five. So, and when you land with your butterfly, you are gonna be able to take the flower token where you've landed. And if there is a, now I can't remember the name, a milk weed. If there's a milk weed, you can lay eggs. So here we have this beautiful board. 
uh, just single sided, doesn't matter on play account there. Away, knock it, knock it. Um, so you can see you can get the flowers um, and then the milk dude, milkweed is this uh, symbol here. So if you land on that, if you land adjacent to that, you can also hatch. Uh, here's the uh, towns where you're going to be placing those tokens, which can give you a roll of dice. Everything's on the board. So the cards will drive you from, um, from the bottom left here out onto the board, and then you'll try and get them back for the big scoring opportunities. So it's all done. It looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. Here's what the box looks like with everything in. Seems like a sensible size box for everything. It fits in nicely. There is room for a few more cards or expansion business. And the rules do a great job of explaining. Um, lots of illustrations. Not too many words. And I haven't had any issue. Perhaps the only issue I have is, is interpreting some of the um, scoring cards, but actually, just reading through this really helped with that. And then you have some designer's notes and you also have some butterfly facts. So that is an info boxing of Mariposas. Hopefully give you uh, an informed decision about whether that's one for your collection or not. Do check out our other content over the weekend and uh, check out our deals on our website, Facebook page and social media. And we'll see you next time on Zatu.